are definitely behind Runaway at this instance. Like you said before, of course, one of the most story teams and one of the most liked teams as well coming into the gauntlet. They've got so much history, not only behind the players, but behind the organization as a whole too. Flowen, of, uh, Flowen, of course, one of the most beloved uh, Korean community members, or, well, you know, part of the community for just such a long time. Community Runner for 2018. Yeah, runners here as well. Quite soon off his uh, military service too, and they have brought crowds and crowds and crowds of people, and they're all here to watch Runaway win. They may well be disappointed with their jaws. Atlanta Academy stands between Runaway and that grand final. The winner of the gauntlet taking home 100k in prize money. And everyone's going to roll out. It's going to be the same composition as yours. It's going to be the Reaper and the Doomfist we know so well. Both the teams are going to be testing out each other's tempo, seeing who's going to make the first blow. That's a great block there from Mag using the Fortify. And Mag's pretty low. Yaki actually waits to go in there to make sure he can't get checked by Sugar Free, but Mag's already going to go down. Pure focus from Atlanta Academy as they do push up rather aggressively. Point unlocks in five seconds, but they lose Sugar Free in the chaos. They still have the priority position here as Runaway do not have Mag on board. He's going to be able to come back rather soon. Same with Sugar Free, but Atlanta Academy are going to claim the first cap. Coming around my back, Jackie's ready to make an incision. He's already got a little bit of damage done, Jaws. Saucy already goes down. That coalescence coming out from Kodak a little bit too late. Trying to keep Hawk alive as well, but Lee Gong's going to be able to find the kill. This Runaway looking to flip this fight around extraordinarily quickly. Bunny Astro is going to go down as well. I gotta say, funny Astro, I think having a couple of flashback, flashbacks potentially here where he got EMP'd on the point. Of course, losing that beat, or, well, couldn't even activate the beat and costing them the series. And Astro Academy gets 17% as Runaway find the flare. Yeah, it isn't usually about the first, uh, about the first cap as much as we say, George. Usually it's about the first fight. We just expect to be at the first fight to determine the first cap. Look, Lee J Gon has already got himself a beat. That's going to be so good to try and be aggressive here. He doesn't have to worry about Hawk or Grimmick. Flux is going to get aggressive. Flux is going to come in. Beat comes out from Funny Astro. Everything's so low. He got knocked up into the air. Gator could not be saved. Yaki pounds him into the ground. Now QOQ up in the skies, just defending this entrance. Sugar Free is going to throw himself in there. Was already in the Meteor Strike. Before his team went down, a perfect boop in the sky as well to make sure Yaki could secure the kill. And the understanding there from Runaway of how that fight needs to go, they need to force out the sandbar if they do that using Yaki's Meteor Strike. Second match dissipated, it's time for QOQ to take charge of this fight. Drags everyone up into the air, slams them on down. Atlanta Academy going to lose out on that one, but now they can try and siege with the supercharger. He's in the back though, he's got the ult. However, he's going to retreat to back to the rest of his team, receives the beat as well as Saucy ends up going down. Runaway. Dominance in the front line currently. QQ gets a little bit caught off guard as Sugar Free with the damage boost going to be able to surge forward. Gator with a couple of kills as well as Runaway end up falling. But 60 to go. Almost 70% here as Jackie comes in. He's going funny. Astro trying to find the stun. Gets it. Doesn't find the kill just yet. But use that Meteor Strike to stay alive for a little bit longer. Lee Jagon's in here still as well. He's going to be danced around for a little bit. Trying to get every last percentage point, Jaws. Because Runaway want to be in a position where if they win one fight, Atlanta Academy are going to be desperate to try and get that retake before the full flip comes over. He's to invest in Shadow Step. He's all about the stealth here, Jaws. He wants to make sure Atlanta don't know where he's coming from. The rest of his team here, they have to make a distraction. Yaki needs to demand attention he's pretty good at doing that I think we all know so that they can try and create a path for Hisu to come in and use his death blossom they need to have the accretion forced out beforehand they need sugar free to be looking elsewhere so the punch is not available that's what's gonna set up Hisu to win this fight Hisu's like you said still looking for an entrance He's now in the front line with the rest of his team. You can see Hawk just permanently checking him, no, knowing he has to save that grass, but Saucy's already going to take out Hisu, so they don't need to worry about it anymore. Runaway. Cleared off the point once again. As Atlanta Academy do make this rather a quick fight, so it's not the worst thing in the world for Runaway. Of course, the fight didn't last, you know, 20, 30%. Now run away, get their chance to attack again with ults online. Hawk there doing a great job of holding that accretion draws. He knew that Hisu wouldn't use that death blossom before the accretion was used. So it gave time for Saucy to get into the back line, to hit those shots when he needed to, to take out members of Runaway. Now we're heading into potentially the final fight territory. By the time this flips over, if Runaway win the fight, it's going to be 99% for Lander Academy. If they can defend here, they're going to take our first stage of Legion. Let's go, well, that's super early. Bugs is going to get used also. Hisu's still taken to the skies. Kuroku is extremely low. Hisu with the Death Blossom has to make something happen here. 95%. Now for Atlanta Academy, he tries for the sneaky, sneaky play on the side, but instantly gets crossed. The beat came out from Funny Astro as well. Runaway can make their way onto the point. As long as someone could touch us, maybe Kuroku can come back and flux. But Gangnam Jim is going to go down. Yaki tries to get oh, back in, but the boom ya. from Funny Astro knocks him over the edge. <laughs> a smile on his face. A fist bump with Kodak as well. 
as Atlanta Academy claim the first map. And the communication from Atlanta Academy is so clean, Jaws. What we just saw there, it's contain Hisu and his Death Blossom. Funny Astro boops him behind Gator's shield. Gator backed off, and as he tries to move back through Gator's shield to apply DPS to the other five members of Atlanta Academy, Gator halted him back through the shield, so he was only hitting Gator once again. The ability to just play around that semi-sphere of a circle. Semi-sphere of a shield, rather. Just made sure that ultimate was useless. Great control. They knew what Runaway's win condition was. They took that into account. Seems like Atlanta Academy still have momentum on their side, but it's only the first round, and we've got a long way to go before they can claim victory and that grand final spot. Stage two. It's going to be Night Gardens. Once again, Yaki going in. It looks like Sugar Free. Oh, Sugar Free. Just halted in. A little bit of a... Damage coming through from DJ Gong as well. Yaki trying to make something work now. DJ Gong's doing a whole lot of damage on the sidelines of Zeredi. You've got to watch him and Astro's ult charge in these fights. It really does tell the tale of two incredibly talented Lucio players. Now. DJ Gong now pushing people, to, well, attempting to push people off the edge. Just run away. Do claim position on the point as Kodak ends up going down. Early coalescence used as well. Run away, find the first cap. DJ Gong is going to be able to push Hawk off the edge. Claim a bit of extra ult charge in yet another boob, in fact, off cooldown. Both tanks fall in the pit, but Gator takes two with him. Wait, G Gator was, did he just halt upwards? <laughs> QO, 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 don't expect the, uh, the halt from beyond the grave. Gator claiming two, but Runaway claim the point. There's going to be a full reset for both teams here. There's time to make this work. Yaki, he has a Meteor Strike Jaws. We know what that means in this meta. It means you go in deep. You try and look for a pick on the Kodak. He's got the Coalescence. You can hit him with the punch, cancel that ultimate, get the kill. Because Cole was used early on as well. Runaway don't have that in their arsenal. He's going just trying to stay alive. Yaki ends up going down first, and now it's up to Hisu to try and make something work here. Hawk's going to fall pretty low as well. Sugar Freeze just defending his tanks at this point, pushing anybody away. Way to make sure they can't get injured. Source is going to take out Lee Jae Gong. Sugar Free now just pounding his way in. He too does manage to find one. And in fact, a beat is going to get used here by Funny Astro to make sure they survive against this Death Blossom. But it's not going to be enough for Saucy to stay in the fight. He too now on the back lines. Disaster strikes Atlanta Academy. Is He too the one that needed to come up with the kills? Comes up with a big. Going down Jim as well. Coming in with the coalescence. Run away. May have lost the point for a brief moment, but they resume control. Textbook target focus there, Jaws. Everyone zeroes in on one player. You want to get rid of Hawk, everyone gets in on Hawk. Make sure there's nothing he can do to survive. Saucy can try and bring this back. The Death Blossom will be imperative. How are Runaway going to mitigate it? It's going to be QOQ with an accretion. It's going to be Yaki with a punch. Who needs to see Sugar Free right now? He needs to demand all this attention. Have the resources in towards him to make space for Saucy to do what he wants. Maybe Saucy looks for a teleport. Lee Jae Gong trying to find some boobs. Is a that real? A boob. Kodak's dead. They trade supports though. It's Lee Jae Gong ends up going down as well. But healing advantage in the favor of Runaway White now. Kuro Q comes up big as well with a massive flux. Hawk and Saucy Gate are going to go down and run away. Looking so good on Night Gardens. 75% and building. Kuro Q returning to the stage. Wants to win this fight. They want to get back into Lee Jong Tower Jaws. Run away. They're looking towards final fight. Are they going to go potentially for this again? It doesn't look like it's going to be Lancer Academy making a different engagement. They have the coalescence. They need to watch out. Where is Yaki? This is super early. Cole as well. Funny Astro is going to go down in the back. He got spotted out. Gangnam Jim knew his plan. Coalescence healing up. The very far away member of Mag and QOQ. You have to pay attention to the point in this case. Sugar Freeze can use that Meteor Strike. Fires DJ Gong, but he gets booped away. And instantly you can see Yaki's coming back with some vengeance. They're now separated from their tanks. They're going to have to touch in order to continue this OT. Atlanta Academy are forcing Runaway away currently. Runaway know that they only need one more flight, so waiting out the supercharger is in their uh, primary concern. Patience is their friend, Jaws. Right now, Lige gone, ready to maybe try and go for an early, but get an early pick, then just go straight in. Waiting for another halt, potentially, from Mag. That would facilitate the boop here because we don't know where Lee Jae Gon is but right now Runaway they've actually just distracted everyone gone around the other side they're going to make a fully fledged attack as a team with so many ultimates ready to go four ticks are lighted two more going to be there in just seconds Atlanta Academy they've only got a coalescence to the sound barrier oh well, first up as well Plenty Astro is going to come in with a beat got to be careful though because Kuro Ku's near in that flux Meteor Strike comes down at the back Isu gets rocked as well but he's going to be fine that beat saves his life for the time being but Funny Astro with comes up with a boop, a very, very quick reset now is needed by Runaway, 56%.
Atlanta Academy are going to continue to hold with one boop secures the fight. Funny Astro keeping the team in the game. And Ligier gone, probably a little bit of a frivolous beat there. Jules thought he had the advantage over Funny Astro because he beat it second, but now it's not going to have anything to do with Hawks Gravitic Flux. It's going to be a tale of two very effective fluxes right here. Maybe we can see a cancel try and work the halt there as well from Gator. The communication on this team is unparalleled. Gator is an esteemed leader. Runaway have Mag falling low. We're going into final fight. Atlanta Academy can claim the first map right here. Flux is coming in. That supercharger is not that safe. Hawk just takes it out instantly. Oh, wasted it seems. Atlanta Academy find the rock kill as well on QOQ. But Sugar Free ends up going down as well. Runaway bleeding tanks as Mag gets killed off by Funny Astro. He still has to come up big because it's taken out by Saucy. One more fight. Runaway need to get on the point. But Saucy's making it hard. The entrance is completely blocked by the Death Blossom. He survives to tell the tale as Funny Astro yet again tries to find the boops run away stalling for some additional time as QOQ comes back on the ball he will he's gonna be able to stall out for a little bit George there's so much damage Winston as well mag back on a favorite hero of his gets instantly taken down and saucy cleans up the rest they're looking to take the first map in a clean sweep a 2-0 Atlanta Academy cleaned the rest of runaway off OT ticks through and what a start for the North American representatives going up against the hometown heroes as you heard at the beginning so many runaway fans in the crowd but are they better than the power of the parents that came with Atlanta Academy all smiles in the booth runaway though used to being down a couple of maps we're all about the comeback kings they are gonna be able to choose our hybrid map that's gonna be a huge boon for them they can try and figure out something that is less to Atlanta Academy strengths and more towards their own but do they want to continue with this mirror right now it seems like Atlanta Academy their shot calling is so effective when it comes to this mirror, they always have Saucy able to make these incisions because Sugar Free demands so much attention. Not only that, we're we're seeing Team Fights 1 just off the back of mere boops, right? We're not used to seeing that, especially in this meta with the Lucios more escorting and uh, in and out of the Team Fights, right, in the tanks. We'll have to see what's going to go down, though. Atlanta Academy 1-0 up against Runaway. Let's go to a quick break, guys. Map number two coming up soon.
Atlanta Academy 1-0 up right now in the series. First of four as well, I must remind you. And what a start for the North American representatives. An unbelievable streak in their contenders. Hey, they're making a name for themselves on a stage that other North American teams way back when in Apex Season 1 made uh, made their names. Made history, Jules. Envy, as far as I'm aware, the first international team ever to come to Korea and win a LAN against Korean teams. That old team which has become Dallas Fuel set that precedent. And now, Atlanta Academy can walk in those same footsteps. In some cases, defeating the same teams, even though the mistake were merely a glint in Apex challenges. Back at that time, where do we need to rally? If we need to return, I've got a pretty good stat for you. Saucy in that last map actually did 10% less damage per 10, but it's always in the right place. He's getting more kills than Hisu with less damage. Hollywood is the next map. Runaway's choice as well. But maybe little did they know. This was actually a specialty map for Astro when he was playing on British Hurricane. He was subbed in for this map specifically. We'll see if that's going to affect it. Let's get into it. We'll see as well if... Almost went over the champ there. How rude of me. I'm sorry, Runaway fans. Everybody will forgive you. Maybe not, but the Runaway fans won't. <laughs> it's very important. We need to be channeling that energy, Jaws, because right now, Runaway, it doesn't bode well when you are losing 0-2 in the base mirror of the meta. When you're looking at that Reaper Doomfist, that's going to punctuate a lot of how this series will go. Atlanta Academy starting off on the defense here. We're going to be in a very good position. Defending Hollywood first, we've seen so many times, is super advantageous in this meta because you can control where the engagements happen. And also you have a disengagement to a point where you don't really provide a backboard behind yourself, meaning that the Doomfist can't apply the all-important usage of a burst damage. He's just going to take a quick pot shot here, see if anyone peeks outside the shields. Will anyone test his medal? Not today. Back over onto the Reaper. We're going to see the mirror once again. Runaway evidently thinking that their forward planning ability, their coaching prestige will be more than enough to bring out this mirror on a more regimed, a more planned hybrid map where they can play their own style. They were able to check trick free as well. He's so going to aggressive. Basically all cooldowns though. He's going very low. He's going to get healed up in the end. He has got to be rather careful. Talk about how Doofus rotate their cooldowns. They just have to in this meta and just being able to make sure they can get out alive. Oh, oh, sugar free. He's going to launch himself in though. That backboard, that security room, just so deadly for the attack. I love what happens with Atlanta Academy when it comes to the shot calling jaw. Sugar free charge up his punch. The second that audio cue hits, Gator starts moving forward because he knows that Sugar free can invest both of his cooldowns, the seismic slam and the uppercut offensively if he can get back behind the shield in good time and the rest of Atlanta Academy are there to make the space. Look at the ult charge. He's 60% ahead of Hisu right now. He's almost got a meteor strike. That means he can get super aggressive and sourcing can come in from another angle. Mix up the tempo. Run away though. Still have the Colossus to work with. Slowly pushing, just making sure they can check Sugar Free when he comes in. That's so why Gangnam Jim is stepping so far back as well. Also, a way better angle, also, if they do approach this corner. Yucky's gonna push Sugar Free straight away, right on back. No hold to be had there from Sugar Free, so uh, Meteor Strike didn't really get too much, apart from a little bit of damage. Yucky from the top rope. And he's just to get back in as well. A couple of punches on Sugar Free. He's launched even higher in the sky as he's dueled out in the air. Yaki ends up going down, and now Runaway have to come up with something big, otherwise they're going to have to go again once more. Maybe potentially trying to force out Gator's uh, cooldowns here, or potentially just his ultimate would be good enough for Runaway, but they are losing member after member just so slowly. He still ends up going down as well, and now Runaway have two minutes to attack this first point. I'm really a fan of how Hawk is using his experimental barrier where he can to block QOQ's accretion because that's that channeling time where you get the rock together. There's time for another Sigma to react and put up a shield in front of that. Deny the stun, deny the damage and make sure that they are not building a battle as quickly. Runaway are coming into this with six ults. Atlanta Academy are coming into this with six ults. Warm up your vocal cords, Jaws. This one's going to get fast in the 12-volt showdown. Atlanta Academy are already burning two. Supercharge being put down as well as that flux. Sending Runaway up in the air, but the problem is they did have that beat to back them up. Funny Astro sitting on his beat as well. He's going to use it from around the corner. Is he going to be able to save Hawk? Yes, he is. Sugar Free, not quite so lucky though. He is fairly low, but the rest of his team are going to surge forward with the later beat coming out from Astro to make sure they can sustain for the upcoming just cleanup. Yaki ends up going down as well, and Runaway 
Looking like they're going to get full health here if they're not careful. Ten ults expended, Jaws. Only one remaining with a minute on the clock for Runaway. Potentially a little bit flummoxed with the aggression that Atlanta Academy is showing right here. They're mixing up their tempo of where they hold as well. Do they go back sometimes? Are they going to hold forward? Looks like Sugar Free wants to hold forward. He's got halted in. Oh, saucy as well. Sub 50 HP. Used the Death Mosm right on top of the car. And he still ends up going down. Runaway are in dire straits currently. They've lost their Reaper. They're calling in as well as Yaki trying to get some damage down with the Meteor Strike. Doesn't land it on the floor, rather the top of the roof to make his life a little bit easier and safer as he tries to go for the escape. Now run away with 30 seconds remaining before they're going to get full hell. He's just the only tool in the box, George. It's going to have to be a golden spanner right now to try and wrench open whatever Atlanta Academy have holding this point down. Sugar Freeze looking for an early pick. Only gets a little bit of damage onto Magvo. Still building up towards that Meteor Strike. He's going to make another attack. Hawk is going to have to get a rather large sum of protection. Receives the beat in order to sustain himself through. Sugar Free finds another kill. Max is going to go down and now run away with 10 seconds remaining. Have to get on the point. But Kuma Kuma and Yaki are already dead. He's doing the back line, trying to make things work once again. But once more, he gets shut down by Saucy. This is going to be it. Run away are going to get full held by Atlanta Academy on Hollywood. A map of their choosing as well. And now Atlanta only need. 33% to claim back-to-back -back maps against Runaway. I want to see the score reports on Atlanta Academy Jaws. Absolute perfection coming out from this team at the moment. I think they may have lost only one player over the course of that round, maybe even zero. Amazing defense from Atlanta Academy. Now Runaway has got to play on your mental. They've got to play for a draw here on their own map pick. They thought, okay, we're down. We can bring this back. Where are we going to go? We're going to go to our best. We're going to go to Hollywood. Atlanta Academy, like, oh, cool. That's where Astro has his specialty. Well, to put it into context, Atlanta Academy had 69 eliminations versus Runaway's five. No, uh, Runaway, Runaway have one. Have one final kill. So that puts it into perspective of how devastatingly ruined they got sugar free was the offense. only person to die that round and he died once atlanta if they win this map this momentum this mental fortitude is just going to be through the roof they're going to basically feel invincible i would imagine so jaws have to see if runaway can batten down the hatches can't feel good but you have to play for the draw but it is necessary if you want to make sure you're not going down 2-0 in our first half time of the series. And at this rate, it could be a half-time draws. It could end 4-0 if Runaway don't rally back. Atlanta Academy gonna roll out with a classic, the Doomfist and the Reaper. Runaway gonna need to outdo them, but thus far, the duel definitely seeming like it's Atlanta Academy. And that's all about how Gates is calling these halts, I think. He's managing to very much coalesce his team all onto a single point of contact. Apply the maximum damage to that because of a single pick. A lack of survival from the enemy team, that's all you need. Atlanta Academy with one fight. They win it, they're going to be able to take this point, you could imagine. Mag getting aggressed on rather heavily, you can see how aggressive Atlanta Academy are being. Saucy's just going to teleport himself on top of the cafe. A beautiful uppercut by Sugar Free, sending everybody from runaway low. Saucy and Sugar Free end up trading as the coalescences do come out. Kagno Jim's going to have a nice little position here, trying to target down Funny Astro, but it's not working. He's two fallings, rather disastrous for the uh, elimination of Banks, and another one's going to go down as well. QOQ's falling, Funny Astro falling pretty low, but he's going to be able to pick himself up again. Yaki, and now Saucy basically free to do whatever he so chooses. He's just going to be able to get back. The beat from Astro as well is sending them forward. Lee Jae Gong dies with a B as well. The Shover Shields just got shredded, and Atlanta Academy are going to claim 33% on Hollywood and secure themselves a 2-0 in quick succession. Absolute perfection, Jaws. When it comes to pressing W, it's all about Hawk and Gator. These guys rotate their cooldown so well. First is Gator putting down the shield. That'll get us a couple meters. Now everyone walks forward. Everyone gets in a line behind Hawk. He brings out the kinetic grasp, eats all the damage. And then once that's gone, you see Gator take the lead. He uses his fortify, make sure that any punches coming in are blocked. And that's how Atlanta Academy, they got themselves on the point. It felt like... Runaway barely even touched the point over the course of their attack, but in the first one for Atlanta Academy, they move forward. Their movement in this meta is unparalleled. The way they protect each other, the way they cycle cooldowns is so important, so imperative. And previously, Owl Pro Kuki 
has to come into the box now for Runaway to try and figure out what's up. If ATL win the next map, oh, Matt's point in the series. I'm not sure anybody saw this going this way, especially being full held on Hollywood. Atlanta Academy take the W on it. 2-0 up. We're going to jump to a quick break, guys. Do not go anywhere. Map number three up soon.